Hamas is operating its command and control positions beneath hospitals, and specifically in the main and the largest hospital in Gaza, the Al Shifa Hospital, which is a really substantial you know hub for health. And unfortunately, what we found is that they, they've connected their hospitals with a net, network of tunnels, um, and, and that's where they're conducting their operations. That's where they're operating to attack us. That is where they're coordinating their attacks. That is also where they've they've hide, hid out. Hamas has turned hospitals into command and control centers and hideouts for Hamas terrorists and commanders. Additionally, I can confirm that according to the intelligence we have in our hands, there is fuel in hospitals in Gaza. I repeat, there is fuel in hospitals in Gaza. And Hamas is using it for its terror infrastructures. <laughs> وين في؟ أنا بقول ليش؟ أنا بحكي مع اسم المستشفى بقول ليش؟ ايش عطبوا المستشفيات يعني؟ لا لا في بنزين في بنزين على المحطة بروح في بنزين يعني الجماعة ماسكة كل الأمور المحروقة؟ اه حتى لا 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 اسقاط اللي هو وسط بروح بعد ما بقوم بغاز وبطلع اللي هو وسط بعد ما بنزين وبطلع حتى في المستشفيات يعني؟ For about two weeks now, we've been calling on the people of northern Gaza to go south. Uh, we're still calling on that and hoping that people will listen, uh, especially after our expose today, that we know what is the hospital is, is hiding. We know how Hamas has abused health care. We know that um, uh, the hospital, while it should it should be used for healing, um, they are using it for hideout. So we are sending a very clear message. We know what is happening there. Uh, we're still appealing to people, get out of the site. You to get away from this uh, terrible um, uh, breach of international humanitarian law. And, and we're pr pursuing that. Weapons in themselves don't pose the problem. The problem is the, the, the situation where they've position themselves intentionally in in underneath the, the hospital or, or or within the hospital's premises uh, of course if they're utilizing the facilities there from underground complexes and the 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 facilities and the, and the grounds of the hospital that is a very serious threat uh, and we will need to take into consideration in the coming days exactly what happened <laughs> المركز الرئيسي وين؟ بعرفش تحت مجمع الشفاء اه يا لطيف عن جد تحكي؟ اه مقر القياده الرئيسي تحت مجمع الشفاء مدامات وغرف وقياده وكل شيء تحت مجمع الرئيسي So we are currently and we've been doing for the last two days um, broader land operations clear and sweep in order to engage the enemy on the peripheral areas of, of the Gaza Strip engaging, seeking out anti-tank uh, um, squads that, that Hamas has positioned, taking out observation points, look, seeking out and destroying um, access points for tunnels, for the terrorist tunnels, which could be used against us. Uh, of course, the ground operation will be de dependent on two core issues. First of all, a government approval, to a green light to go in. And Prime Minister Netanyahu said two nights ago that he's working on that consensus. And second, we will mobilize only when we feel that we have the operational or the optimal operational conditions. We're not in a rush. We understand it's a long war ahead of us. And we understand that there is a need to deal with Hamas once and for all. And therefore, we won't rush into this. We will do it step by step.